Hello everybody. If you are there, then jump on. I am live, coming to you on my Facebook page, The Psychic Coach, Samantha Jane. If you are there watching, drop me a comment and say hello. So it is the 30th of March. If you are watching this on replay, drop a little hashtag replay. Let me know where in the world you are watching this from. And as I say, if you're there, then drop me a little hello. Let me know you're there. I'd love to know if last week's helped you. There's been so much negativity posted. I try to be as positive as I can. Um, so let me know if that helped you as well. So how are we all doing? Are you surviving? Let me just make sure I can see comments. Right then, so shall we move forward and see what the week ahead is going to bring to us? As we look at the planetaries, it's again, it's still quite a powerful week again, um, but I would expect it to continue that way. Hi Jean, thank you for tuning in. I hope that you are well. My hair has decided to grow at a rate of knots because it heard the hairdressers weren't open. I'm going to have to attack it myself. <laughs> Hi Sophie. Hi Hayley. Hi Anna. Lovely to see you all tuning in. Hi Cathy. I hope you are all well. So tomorrow we have a blend of Mars and Saturn and Aquarius. <clears throat> Hi Gillian. And they are going to begin their two-year mandate. And their two-year mandate is to actually um, accelerate change in this world. So hold on to your seats. Hi, Tom. Hi, Yvonne. I'm good, actually. I'm really good, Yvonne. Thank you for asking. So yeah, tomorrow, we you need to brace yourself because basically tomorrow is the start of a two-year um, trans transition, a two-year change, to, which is all about changing the world that we live in. Hi, Tina. Um, and it's about making good choices. So from tomorrow, as I say, it's all about changing this world that we live in. And it is all about making good choices, positive choices not just for ourselves, but for the world. Remember I said last week, this is about assessing and working out and re-evaluating and finding balance, the need to get out of fear and to get into positivity. That really, really comes into being from tomorrow. And I have to say, it all can move very, very fast. All right, Natalie, I'm not doing one-to-ones. This is a group presentation. You're welcome to book an appointment. Um, but it's about, yay, Kate, nice to see you. So yeah, as I say, tomorrow it is kicking in, all right? This two-year process, which is all about accelerating the changing world that we are so aware of living in now, okay? This is gonna be a time for you to make good, positive choices, and as I said before, not just for yourself, but for the world that you live in. So what is really key is that you are making choices in a state of being connected to yourself and making sure you're not making choices from a place of fear. Remember, we've got two choices at the moment. Are we going to step into a life of fear or are we going to step into a life on what I call the love vibration? So choose well, I beg you, choose well, all right? Now, on the 4th, <clears throat> the planetary influences are coming in again, and it's all about being driven to succeed. So actually, if you're in business, then this week is a good week to keep at it and keep going, especially if what you do helps other people improve their lives. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Jill. Because it is about spiritual development from Saturday as well. It's about good intentions and it's about having driven success and that sex success, I can't speak, can come to you if it comes from a good place. It will not come to you if it is coming from a place of greed, a place of jealousy. Yet we've seen so much of that lately and that all has to end as part of this two year process. The way we live, the way the world is, is going to change and it's a two year process and it starts tomorrow, all right? But on Saturday, these, these other energies come in and it's all about improving your life. Okay, thank you, Sean. It's blue. 
Hi, Ravia. Um, so, yeah, and now the other thing that is building up is the full moon energy. And the reason I share that, hi Simon, the reason I share that with you, although that is on the 7th, so I'll talk about that next week, but the reason I share that with you is because I'm a big believer that in the week building up to a full moon, a lot of things can come to a head. And those influences already sliding into place, already being relevant. Hi John. So, there is a need to watch, and um, don't do scaremongery, you know I don't. If you've watched me before, you know I'm not into all this negative crap. I like to keep things positive, like to think, keep things light. But I would like to see as many of you as possible tuning in next week and not tuning in from sick beds. alright? So be aware that from, you know, we're building up this week because from the 7th, the full moon that comes in it actually centres around illness. All right, it brings an increase into illnesses. So there is a need to watch what you are doing. So this week, be very mindful and do as you have been told. Stay home. The reason being, it's like there's a huge surge of this illness, like final illnesses. And what I'm concerned about is because of the planetary influences, because of people being bored of being home already, that people will start to do reckless things. You, be patient. Use this to learn patience. And don't give in to fear. Ooh, I think they cut me off for a little bit. <laughs> so I'm back. I hope you can still see me. Let me know if you can still see me and everything is fine. It just suddenly cut out. So I don't know what was happening there. But just be aware that you need to stay home. You need to not be reckless because from the 7th, there is this energy of centering around illnesses and increase of illnesses, unfortunately, an increase in deaths. And the concern is from a planetary that because people will see these, these deaths, they'll go into a lot of fear. And we need to watch for that, right? Do not give in to that fear, all right? Please do not stay home and Turn this into a very sort of spiritual, reflective experience. What you are supposed to be doing is redesigning your lives so that when we come out of this, I do wish people stopped messaging me saying, I'll see you on the other side. I'm a medium, for God's sake. That means a whole other thing. <laughs> Please be, but be careful with your words, all right? But it's like... And when we get to the other side of all of this, then we are going to need to step forwards into a new world and a new way of being. If you have done what is good and positive, then you will do that. If you're still fear-based and unable to let go of the old world, then you'll be trying to recreate desperately what you've had, but that has gone. So be aware of stepping forwards and knowing that it's about doing things in a new way, a new vibration and a new intention, all right? Because on a positive, although the full moon does have a lot of energy to do with illness and there is a need to be patient and not be reckless, what it also has is massive energy to achieve your dreams if your motivation is good, pure, for others and not just to line your own pocket. So is any of that resonating with you already? Let me know, drop me a comment. I hope that you are healthy and well, all of you watching. Yeah, Michaela, far too much sitting around and thinking. That is kind of like an epidemic within us. As you know, I work with a lot of anxiety-based um, people in my therapy work there is a need to watch for that and you are in control of that no one is making your mind go where it goes your mind is separate to you and it's something that you can move and control so steer where your thoughts go all right get busy you know if anything you should be decluttering you should be getting rid of old stuff hi lisa doing lots of stuff to keep that mind of yours busy if you are anxiety based. Keep the mind busy, but at the same time, learn to breathe, learn to meditate, learn to chill, spend as much time as you can outdoors, even if it is just in your back garden, right? Get outdoors. Remember, this is about the balance of nature as well. That is why we are seeing um, changes in the world, 
all right? This is an opportunity, and as Lindsay has put there, she's lost her job, but she's not seeing it as negative. If you're going to succeed this, as in you're gonna come out on top of this experience rather than come out and continue to struggle, you will recognize opportunity in here. You really, really will. As Simon has put there, you've got to watch how much you're eating, people. We're all going to come out of here 20 stone and alcoholics. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Not a good plan. But <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of posts that would have me believe that. So just be mindful of what you're doing. Be mindful of what you're putting into your body. As well, I was saying to someone else on a coaching call today that... You know, if, if you want to be in a good and positive place, really, we should be detoxing, if anything. So watch for eating too much rubbish. Yeah, we are what we eat. Stay positive, stay upbeat. All right. Yes, Simon, I need to kick your ass on that one. So just be mindful. All right. Yes, Natalie, I'm glad I've got my horse to keep me sane as well. Be mindful of what you are doing. Be mindful of where your thoughts go. What you're supposed to learn in this experience is also to be very now, to be very present, but also in those moments you will get a feel for how you want your life to be post this experience. All right, right, let me turn to the tarot for you. So this is a general tarot, and what I mean by that is it is for everybody watching. I would rather spend time helping everybody that I possibly can in this little bit of time that we have here this evening. So some of it may resonate with you, some of it may not. Some of you may find it doesn't today, but by Friday you think, oh my God, that so resonates now. So don't be frightened to come back and watch it again. All right, my chunky selenite. Yes, could have a bit of angels around you. Right then, this is a week to be a little bit of in defense position. And what I mean by that is to not be stupid, to protect yourself, your loved ones. This is not the time to think that you are immortal. I think if anything, this is a season to remind us that we are not immortal and that we need to get on with living instead of just surviving. And I think that is key, all right? Now, there's lots of communication to take place. If you have children, you may be having to do a lot of communication with your children this week. And it should be positive and it should be upbeat. The way to challenge the negativity at the moment is to do what brings you joy. And I said to someone earlier on the call, use this experience to teach your children to be present, to enjoy, to have fun to not stress, switch off the social media, switch off the news, switch off all that BS that we are being surrounded by if it is affecting you. Also be aware if you are empathic and you are going to a supermarket to get food, which you need to do, be aware of the energy that will be sat in that supermarket. So you've got to think, you've got people who are fear-based, People are struggling to find the foods that they eat or their children eat. If you're like me and you've got a gluten-free child, you know, there's challenges like that. So just be mindful of that having been to a supermarket to get some food, even just to pick up milk, you could come away from that with a lot of anxiety that isn't technically your own. All right. This is the season to salt bath, to smudge. And like I said, to get outdoors. There is a big change here. You don't need me to tell you that. This is a big change, all right? And there is this need to spend time alone and learn to spend time alone during this experience and this week in particular so that it becomes more of a spiritual awakening experience rather than feeling like your house is a torture chamber, okay? All right, now there is also this need to embrace this, see it as a new beginning, keep your energies on the beginnings that you are walking towards. Crystal wise, I would recommend the obsidians, things like that to bounce off you, the lapis, um, all of those, the crystals that bounce the energies off you. But as I always say to people, but make sure you're washing them because they collect it as well to, to keep it off you. All right, get your crystals out, get your crystal jewelry out. Um, I've got rutilated quartz that I am wearing. I have got on my, um, Laptop, I have smoky quartz because when I open my laptop and Facebook, it's like bam, 
All right, I don't need that right now. So I have smoky quartz on my laptop to absorb all of that energy. All right, those are the crystals I'm gonna to recommend to you this evening for this week and probably the weeks that follow. So I hope that helps you, David. So yeah, when you're in solitude, there is a need to not focus on disappointments and what you're having to let go of and instead focus on what remains and what is positive. It's about looking for the gift in this experience still this week. Business-wise, work-wise, education-wise, you actually should be working to a plan. Now, you may not be able to act on that plan, but if you are in business and you are not making a plan for your business, and you should be making two plans for your business, one is to survive this season, and the other one is what are you going to do when you come out of this? How do you want your business to be? So if you are in business and you are not doing those things, you are going to be in trouble, all right? Get your head in out of holiday mode, out of worry, out of fear, and get clever and get planning. You may have to change how you do things. It doesn't matter, you've got the time to do it. Pay attention, this will be a gift to you in your business. What is really important though, is that whatever it is you do in work or business, you love it. You've got to love what you do for it to be right in the next chapter of this world, all right, in the new world. So just make sure that you do, and if you don't, jump online, start training, start doing whatever. Use this time productively to a secret plan, if you want to call it that, in the background while you get ready for your new world. Now, when it comes to love and relationships, <clears throat> Um, there's a need to stay focused, there's a need to work together, there is a need to build together. Now that can be in an intimate relationship, it could be a business relationship, or it could be, um, you, you know, your family, children, whatever. But the importance that I'm seeing this week is to have that recognition that we are in this together. Now that could be on, um, what would you call it, a nation level, world level, but as I always say, it begins with you guys. Stop looking to the rest of the world to do it. You need to do your bit. Step up to destiny and do your bit. Know that this begins with you, all right? And recognizing that we are in this together, whether that's family, friends, or whatever. And again, you will be looking at the people in your world this week and choosing who belongs, who feels right, who vibes right, some of you may have to kind of block out the people that are real fear-mongering because they're making you sick or whatever. Don't be frightened to do that. Don't you be in fear and able to do that. That is called self-care. Do you remember last week I explained if you're in the negative of this, you're the one who's in the shops acting like a scene of purge, whereas if you're on the positive end of the spectrum, you are recognising the need for self-care, not selfish, all right? Now, when it comes to the spiritual, the personal development opportunity this week, it is to develop faith. Faith in yourself and faith in your ability, if need be, to lead others. All right, so don't be frightened to do that, even if it's just your children. I mean, the children are the most important in this. They really, really are. You know, we've got to protect the children, but we've got to educate our children and we and we they are in need, just as many adults are, of strong leadership right now. Okay, so this is an opportunity spiritually for you to start to lead the way forward, have some faith in yourself, faith in the universe, angels, God, whatever your belief system is, like have you got faith in a banana if it gets you through? but it's about developing faith this week and seeing beyond the reality that you are in. So yes, we are still in a limbo state to a degree, but you know, last week we were kind of having the dust settle. This week you should be starting to get on with it. This is your reality for now. It will be what you allow it to be. It will be what you make it as well. So take advantage of it, enjoy it, bring that joy vibration in. That is the purpose. And um, this is not a week for feeling trapped and stuck. 
you know, I put a post into my group that I have. If you've not joined that yet, I really recommend you do here on Facebook. You know, watch your words. You're not stuck at home, you're safe at home. Watch your dialogue, stop seeing everything as challenging, put blinkers on to the challenges. Be like a kid at Christmas, just know it's going to be good, know it's going to be fun and allow the, the abundance to come to you. Use your wisdom, your knowledge and your network to get there. Alright, so there is this need to create a happy home. There is this need to create your safe space so that you have time alone within that happy home. Alright. And there is this need to decide to enjoy the process we are in. The sooner everyone does that, the sooner this will be over. All right. And I have to say, you need to learn how to, to ride this in a positive way. Because astrologically, this all happens again in 10 years. All right. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Nothing is wrong in this big picture that we are in right now. But what it is going to do is remind you of how strong you are, how versatile you are, how resilient you are, and how blessed you are. So stay focused on that. Have an amazing week. Stay safe, stay home, and stay where the love is. All right, have a great time. Have some fun, have some joy. Stop making it heavy. Stop buying into the social media, the press rubbish and decide to enjoy the process. I will share links if you want to order a personal reading. I'm doing lots of deals at the moment so that I can still keep working and still keep helping you. Here always, the best thing you can do now, guys, is jump over into my um, Spiritual Growth Club, which is completely free. It's a positive zone and will not have anything negative in there. So if you want to find a safe place with no fear, that's where you need to go. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.